Prince Wilson, Zombie Slayer. Hey guys, if you're like me, you've probably never even heard of a katana sword, much less held one. Um, and if you have held one, it's probably on your wall in some sort of decorative mounting system and you've never actually swung it. Um, so here we are with Charles today. He's going to be teaching us uh, how to properly hold a katana sword because, I mean, honestly, I'd probably just grab it and swing it like a baseball bat at whatever was coming at me. And that is wrong. So, Charles, how do you actually do this? Well, you're going to grab it with... Uh whatever your strongest hand is, and you want the pommel to be halfway in your palm, and then you're gonna wrap your thumb around these two fingers at the bottom, and you're pretty much holding the sword with that hand the entire time. Okay, so it's like a stable sort of base thing right there, right? right exactly, yeah. for mm -hmm. thrusting or slashing. Okay. And your other hand is gonna come and uh, wrap around like this, and you're gonna wrap your thumb around those top two fingers, and this creates like a pivot point for chopping <laughs> and slicing. Okay, so, so can uh, I try it? Can okay. Try. Okay. I guess normally I'd probably, my first attempt would be just to do it like this. Yeah, and this like is completely wrong. No, like this would just be terrible. Yeah, because you can't yeah. really pivot very that's well. That's right. Like I feel that. really restricted. Yeah, like I can only do well like, like that. this. Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. Okay. So, okay, put it in my hand just like this. And then, this is very large sword that I'm holding. And then, like this, and then over these two fingers, their top two? Uh, the, the middle two. I'm the sorry. middle two? Okay. Yes. And then up here. These around like this? Yes. Okay. And you want to keep this hand kind of loose. Kind of loose? Until after the strike at your okay. stop point. That's whenever you tense up and stop the blade. Okay. Awesome. And uh, whenever, you, whenever you're striking, okay. whenever you're at your ready position, like this? you're, yeah, or <laughs> at whatever Goodness. position. This is very threatening. <laughs> I'm very scared right <laughs> when now. When you come down, you want to bend your knees and, and stop, like, whenever you strike. So, like, okay. Die zombie. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and then that adds body weight to your okay. thrust. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like so much worse. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, because so I have using, puny little arms. You're not so. using your arm strength as much as your okay. body. Okay. All right. Awesome. So are there any specific like swings that you're supposed to be doing or working on? Or uh, is it well, just... the easiest one is from the hip, which is usually what most people see in a samurai movie. Okay. Which they're like like this, yeah. and that is at throat. That's aimed at the throat to instantly decapitate someone in one move. Yeah. And what you want to do is put pressure to the outside, um, which is that way, of the sheath, so okay. that whenever your blade comes out, it kind of flicks out on its own. I'm going to try out what Charles just showed me. So I'm going to unhook this and kind of get in my, my fighting stance or whatever, which is getting down, uh, putting my legs down like this. And then I'm going to look at my target, which right now is zombie neck. And then I'm going to put the pressure on the outside of the hilt and then jump forward whenever I do it. So, whoo, like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Yeah. So puny little girl tries to take on the mega monsters with the... Katana. Prince Wilson, Zombie Slayer.